What's up, guys? Got a bunch of cards piling up, so figured it uh, I'd make a video and show them. Seemed like a cool thing to do. These first two cards are from uh, this past weekend. Met up with Michael. This film not yet rated, and hit up a couple of shows in the Kansas City area. Saw Scott Jayhawk 1971 and Ryan RBI Crew 7, who was set up at the second show. Saw both of them. Uh, fun hanging out as always. Michael had a blast on the. Uh, drives there and back. Uh, always good times to have somebody to ride with and good conversation. But uh, this first card I saw at the mall show, we stopped there first. And I had brought, didn't bring a whole lot of cash with me because I didn't want to, trying to save for nationals, didn't want to blow a huge wad. And uh, saw this and kept trying to pass it up on it and let it stay there in case I saw something at the second show and it just kept calling my name so basically spent the majority of what I brought on this card from 2008 I think it says I can't see real well because my allergies and sinuses it's not so much here or here but right in here uh, it's awful but yeah I think it says 2008 National Treasures die cut number 16 uh, three color patch Auto number to 16 of Lynn Dawson. Like I said, I kept trying to leave that in that uh, seller's case and it just kept coming back to it. Couldn't leave it there. Beautiful card. Happy to pick that up. And the second card nabbed this at the uh, second show we had went to. Number to 25 from this year's National Treasures. Willie Lanier autograph. So those are the two cards from the shows. Uh, I will let that lead into some more National Treasures pickups all from this year. The first one, uh, die cut relic. I don't know if it's jacket, pants, boxers. I hope it's boxers. Uh, number 10 out of 49. Hank Stram, pretty cool, uh, four different colors in there, thought that was neat. Also got the uh, Chiefs die cut like this, also multicolored. I was kind of picky on which ones I picked up. And uh, yeah, timeline, 1960, apparently he lived from 1960 to 1974. So passed away when he was 14. Um, Looks a lot older than that in that picture, but it's what the card says. So, whatever. I believe it. Um, next couple cards. Uh, liked the looks of these. The franchise favorites. Nabbed a couple guys I wanted autographs of. First one. Number 99. J.J. Watt. I think the pictures in these are pretty cool. And the second one. What up, Scott? Scoth, Bob Ela, the Pickler, uh, number to 49, Isaac Bruce. Don't worry, Scott, I've got another Bruce Auto from National Treasures on the way because I felt so horrible about picking this one up for myself. I uh, nabbed you a Bruce Auto, so I'll be shooting that your way once it comes in. Not that you are watching this, so it's going to be a total surprise when you get it. Uh, and the last one, last pickup from National Treasures, number 2 out of 10, uh, another timeline, uh, die cut Charles, jersey pieces, autograph, yeah, Jamal Charles. So that's what I've got in National Treasures wise, no it's not, didn't show this one, Tom Bahali, colossal, jersey, and I lied, I picked that up at the card show too, so I picked up three cards. On to the next couple of pickups, uh, both from a product that I just keep falling in love with more and more from Gold Standard, the first card, number 8 out of 10, the 14 karat gold piece autograph of Jamal Charles. Beautiful cards. And the second pickup for the Hoff PC, a two color paint patch. Autograph 
numbered four out of five. Love this card of Earl Campbell. It's not going to show, but that paint patch, it's all like the paint's like pushed and built up right there. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's fake. And when they were trying to squeeze it in there, it got all roughed up. Or maybe he got hit and it piled up a bunch of paint right there. I don't know. Pretty awesome looking card. I was really happy to get that. And finally, uh, said announcement. <clears throat> um, Going to build the 1991 Fleer Provisions set. And set completion video. Um, somebody had posted a picture of this one. On one of the Facebook pages. But it was, it was, it was graded and it had a little authentic bat piece up in the corner, which I didn't even care about the bat piece, whatever. I saw the card, and when I first started collecting, uh, I collected baseball for a little bit and moved on. I collected basketball as a kid for like seven or eight years. I did nothing but basketball. But when I first started collecting and did baseball, uh, 91 Fleer was the first product that I started opening packs of a lot. And I absolutely loved these and started putting the insert set together which was hard to do. I didn't. I had a few friends and a couple of my friends' dads collected and I was able to trade with them, but uh, no card shops locally. Um, so they were hard to build. I kept pulling dupes. And uh, anyways, I'll just start showing these. I still love these, the, just the art. I don't know, these are cool. Kirby Puckett, Dynamite. They're all titled on the back. See the little uh, fuse there coming out of the end of the bat. Got Will Clark making contact. And actually, as a kid, I always drew. I drew a lot, and I actually drew a few of these uh, cards. And there's also, a, they did it with basketball, too, in 92 Fleer, I think. And that was a six-card set, and I drew all of those. But uh, Ruben Sierra, Taming the West. The Mark McGuire, All-American. I already showed that. What up, James? Bionic bow. Very uh, nicely centered. <laughs> Bought this whole set off eBay for like five something shipped. Uh, Power and speed. Jose Canseco. Flamethrower of Dwight Gooden. This was the one, the last one I pulled as a kid uh, to complete the set. And I pulled so many dupes before I got this one. And I just remember how happy I was to finally complete this uh, set when I finally pulled this one. The one that eluded me. The Mike Greenwell, uh, Green Monster's friend. Probably boring the hell out of you guys. These aren't refractors, die cut, anything. Uh, just love the looks of them. It's really neat to have them all again. Pitching Magic. What up, Sam Kind for Roger Clemens. Eric Davis, All Universe. Mr. Yankee, Don Mattingly. And Nuclear Powered, Daryl Strawberry. So, yeah, nothing huge at all, but love having all of these again. It just, I saw the picture when he posted that card, and it just brought back so many memories of collecting and chasing that insert set. And. Uh, being mad every time I pulled one and it wasn't the Greenwell and then finally pulling the Greenwell. I'd uh, go to the grocery store with my grandma every weekend and uh, she'd buy me a couple packs. And I'm pretty sure, I, uh, I don't remember how they were packaged, but it didn't get to bust like a crazy amount of it. I spent my own money too. I'd bust it with allowance and this and that. But I think I remember like trying to fan the pack this way as a kid and look for the black card through the edge. I'm just trying to pull these. Horrible pack searcher, I know. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have. I'm rambling. Almost 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, that's it for now. Peace.